Hi, everyone, and welcome on News Now, Belmont Journal's daily news show and community update. I'm your host, Maribel Carvajal. The Armenian community recently lost one of his prominent members, Bartan Gregorian, after whom the National Association for Armenian Studies and Research, NASAR headquarters, was named in November 2019. Sarish Serunian interviews Alin Gregorian, editor of the Armenian Mirror Spectator, in memory of the notorious philanthropist. Today we have with us Alin Gregorian. She is the editor of the Armenian Mirror Spectator. And today she's going to talk a bit about Dr. Vartan Gregorian, an Armenian philanthropist and educator who passed away on April 15th. And Arlene is here to tell us a little bit about Dr. Gregorian's life and work and some special memories that she has of him. So thank you for joining us, Arlene. Thank you, Sharis, for having me. It's lovely to be on your program. Uh, so Dr. Gregorian was um, not a relation, sadly though we share a last name, he was uh, definitely someone who, whose life had this tremendous trajectory from someone born in provincial Iran to someone who hobnobbed with the cream of society in New York and uh, whose activities and passing sadly, were covered by publications around the world. So um, I had the pleasure of uh, meeting him and, um, and speaking to him on numerous occasions. And he was, um, he was just a, a charming, brilliant, um, wonderful man, a real intellectual who wore the, the the mantle of, of all that he did very lightly. Can you tell us a little bit about Dr. Gregorian's life and work? So uh, he was born in Tabriz, Iran, and through a, a series of uh, very fortunate coincidences and, and um, accidents, he ended up in the US and ended up basically uh, a provost at UPenn. And then um, he, had, he was the president of Brown University. And finally, he went to uh, the New York Public Library where he basically brought this uh, beautiful old institution back to life. The final chapter was at the uh, Carnegie um, in New York, and which is a, a philanthropic outlet. And while he was there, he also became a co-founder of the Aurora Humanitarian Initiative, which um, they all have their websites and you can find out more about them. But basically Aurora was launched by him, uh, Nubar Afeyan and Ruben Vartanian with the goal of paying forward some of the help the fleeing Armenians during the Armenian genocide got from different uh, groups and people. And um, I have some um, funny recollections uh, from him. One of them was uh, he called my office one day. Uh, Tuesday, we go to press. So it's a very hectic, stressful time. And I was in my office and I got a phone call. We don't have caller ID. And this woman very quickly said, call from Vartan Gregorian's office. And uh, so I was like, oh, okay, what? So I start talking and she, it, she transfers the phone to him and he comes on and starts with an apology because he had, he said he had been meaning to call me and tell me what a great job I'm doing, what a great paper this is, but I, but he simply had not had time for it. And I, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. You know, here's this guy, not only is he 
paying me this amazing compliment, but he's apologizing to me for not doing it earlier. Of course, you know, after I hung up, I ran around the office and, and was like, hey, Marta Grigori, just go. You know, so I, I was like eight years old all over again. What is Dr. Gregorian's legacy and how can we continue to honor it? Well, I think he has a, a global legacy and as well as a, a smaller Armenian legacy. And I think both of those are joined by kindness and um, also desire for reading and higher education. So I think anytime you enter a library or anytime you purchase a book, you're probably honoring his legacy. Well, it sounds like Dr. Gregorian was a wonderful man. He will be missed by many. And the work he did throughout his life will have a lasting impact for generations to come. Thank you very much for joining us. Again, I'm your host, Sharice Sarunian for Belmont Journal. And our guest was Aline Gregorian of the Armenian Mirror Spectator. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sharice.